Hey, so here I've got some uh, new modular things I've been working on. This is a prototype for uh, a modular enclosure uh, design. Basically, uh, you have this piece here, which is um, going to have multiple dimensions. Right now, this is, I think, 10 centimeters wide by 5 tall. So there'll be like a 20 wide and a 10 tall and, you know, different variations of those two. But these, uh, these grooves, all these interlocking edges, as well as this lip down here, and the one on the reverse side allow you to build uh, enclosures like this out of similar pieces. Um, this of course builds off of some stuff I've done before. Um, this is a really, I mean this is the only bolt size I use for enclosures anymore. And um, I've got the bolt hole here that allows you to mount bolts directly in here and tighten your screw. This would be great if you had like a box or a lid on top of here uh, between this bolt and the rest of the enclosure. Uh, and this whole thing, and I, I put it together before I actually shoot, shot this video so I could just show you the process of how these pieces fit together. It's much easier to take this apart than it is to put it together. Obviously, you don't have to do it once. As you can see, there's um, holes in the bottom so you can stack these on top or underneath. So if you need taller walls, you can do that. Uh, if you need a wall with bolts, you can. If you need a wall without bolts, you can totally do that too. So. Um, these things have very close fitting tolerances and everything snaps together pretty well. Of course, we glue this together um, with ABS glue or some other kind of um, very strong glue that would keep things kind of permanently bonded if that's what you want to do. Uh, this is meant to be eventually a waterproof enclosure as well if you glue it and seal it. Um, so as you can see, we've got all these pieces 3D printed um, just a few hours and we have a small box. We just need a lid uh, and you'd be good to go. So, yeah, that's, that's it for this update. Thanks.